Okay, so when we add these two vectors, um, first of all, before I do anything else, uh, I'm going to just kind of choose some positive directions here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and say uh, north is positive, and we'll say west is positive. And we'll just put a little something around there. Okay, so I'm going to add these two vectors. My first vector um, is, is this one right here. It's 25 kilometers west, 25 south. So I'm going to draw that. It looks like um, something like this. If here's a straight east-west line, it's going this way. So this is uh, D1. It is, let's see, what is it, 25 kilometers? And right here is 25 degrees. That means it's going uh, west and it's going south. So when I look right here, uh, this thing right here is D1 in the X direction, and uh, right over here is D1 in the Y direction. I need to find D1X and D1Y. So to do that, uh, I'm just going to use um, SOHCAHTOA to find that. So D1X, that's an X, is going to be 25 uh, coast, 25, it's the adjacent side cos of 25 degrees. D1x then uh, is 22.66 meters and that's pointing west. Okay, so we need this thing. It's not our final answer. I'm just going to stick a box around it so I can find it again. I also need to solve for D1y. And D1y, if D1x is 25 cos over here, cos 25, then this one's going to be sine. 25 degrees and we can go ahead and work that out and that is 10.57 meters and that one is south okay so uh, looking way back uh, up here the X component here is west so that guy's west the Y component here is south that guy's south or you could think way back up here to our original vector. It's west and it's south. My x and y components are west and south. And then I'm going to go ahead and do it for uh, the second vector as well. The second vector right here, d2, is west 80 north. So I'm going to squeeze it up here. Uh, it looks something like here's a straight east-west line. So it's going something like that. Oh boy, that's not a very straight line, is it? Uh, it's going this way, 80 degrees is right in here, uh, and this is D2, and it's 50 kilometers. Oh yeah, I called these meters down here. These are kilometers, kilometers. hate it when I do that. This side here then, for D2, this is going to be D2X, that is an X, oh boy, that's an X and right here D2Y and that is a Y. To solve for D2X then um, the X component here is adjacent to the angle so to solve for D2X D2X is going to be 50 uh, cosine of 80 degrees That says D2x, uh, and that is 8.68 kilometers. That one's also facing west, okay, just like our previous x component. And again, we also need D2y. And just like before, we said if the first one was cos, then the second one's going to be sine. It's always sine once and cos once. Try not to memorize, though, that x is always... Uh, cos and y is always sine. It is going to depend on how the triangle is given to you. And we'll go ahead and work this out. And this one is going to be 49.24 kilometers. And that is north. And again, these aren't final answers, but I'm going to need both of those things. So we'll use those again in a sec. Once we've got our x and y components, that's usually what I call step one. Step two is let's add the x and y components. 
So I'll go down right under here and I'm going to say the sum of displacement in the x direction. That's just d1x plus d2x. Uh, so we're going to add this component and this component over here. They're both in the west direction. Remember way back up at the top here, way back up here, uh, we said that west was negative. So, uh, sorry, west was positive. So both of those numbers can go in as positive. So this is 22 point six six kilometers and eight point six eight kilometers and that is sum of d in the x direction so in total sum of d in the x direction then let's see thirty one point three four uh, kilometers and that's west and again I'm, I'm going box crazy here but we'll stick a little box around that and then way up here, we'll go, we need to do the same thing in the y direction. So we're going to find sum of displacement in the y direction. I'm just going to add d1y plus d2y. And uh, d1y, let's see, we said north is positive. Again, way back over here, we said north is positive. Just keep in mind, d1y is south. Okay, so if, if north is positive, but d1y is south, I'm going to have a negative in here. So let's put it in brackets, negative 10.57, oops, plus uh, d2y, so way over here, d2y, uh, 49, 24, well, if I can get that, squeeze that in there, that's 49, 24. When I add those two things together, uh, I'm going to end up with 38, 38.67 kilometers, and this is north. And my lines aren't going around there very well, but that's north. There we go. There's our total in the x, total in the y. Our final step is let's just redraw this thing. Okay, if I redraw this thing, I'm going to just flip over to a new page. Okay, uh, so we're on a new page. Uh, when I redraw this thing, it doesn't really matter if I go uh, first in the x direction or first in the y direction. So I'm just going to go in the x direction. We had 31.34 kilometers. Uh, that was west. And we've got... Uh, 38, let's see if I can get that in here, 38.67 kilometers, and that's going north, and then this is my result in displacement. This is actually what I'm looking for, delta D. That's, that's an arrow on top there. Oh boy, let's see, okay, let's see if I can fix this. Here we go, some high-tech stuff, there we go. Uh, don't forget, we always need an angle. We'll do that way back here at the beginning. To find this thing, this is just using Pythagoras. A squared plus B squared. C is really this thing. Whoops, and this, of course, should be equal. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. That means this is 31.34 squared and 38.67 squared, that's a 7 there. And when I go ahead and solve for that thing, uh, I'm going to get 49.76 kilometers. And as we said before, we need this angle right here. So I'll find that angle. And I've mentioned this in class a few times. I'm a tan guy, but at this point, you can really use any of them, sine or cosine. Uh, but I'll use tan. It's opposite over adjacent. We uh, divide those inverse tan on your calculator, or shift tan. We get 51 degrees. Our final answer, then, our displacement, when we're ready to stick a vector sign on it, we're going to have to round here for significant digits. Uh, so we had two sig digs in the question. We'll have two sig digs in the answer. That's approximately 
50 kilometers and then our direction 51 degrees uh, over here 51 degrees remember is touching west so west is going to come first it is west 51 degrees that's a 51 uh, north and there's our final answer and we'll stick a couple of boxes around this just because I boxed everything else and that's it that's component method